What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the one and only Terabyte Reacts. We are back here today to enjoy another episode of Band of Brothers. Okay? So, last episode we saw them was brutal. Was brutal jumping out of the plane. Nobody could find each other. They all landed in different spots, but they did find them, find themselves back together. Um, some awesome things, man, is happening in this. But it's also very tragic because, you know, this is a true story and all. So, in my opinion, when it comes on to, to certain things, when it comes on to war, you know, people have their different opinions on if you know if war is necessary um and in my opinion i don't think it's a necessity i really don't think it is but it's the world we live in it is the world we live in so i'm not gonna make it seem like you know we want you know everything is gonna be hunky-dory all the damn time you know it's a staple of truth is a staple of the world is something that's going to happen war is going to happen but I don't think it's a necessity and the reason why I believe that you know it's not a necessity it's because I believe uh, you know somebody was pointing out in the comment section that this is the longest period of peace we've ever had um, since you know since World War two and is it is it because of the development of nuclear weapons could be um, you know because you know you guys were explaining to me about you know why they don't just go take out um, North Korea and you know take King John Un or whatever his name is um, over there to take out take him out and but you guys said they they you know they have a lot of missiles they're very close to the south korean border that they can strike at any moment and kill those people you know so that's really why they haven't really intervened and really gone to take him out which is which is definitely comprehensive i can definitely understand that but I, I don't think war is a necessity. I really don't. You know, um, we we live in a we live in a world where there are going to be people that wants war. Um, that wants to you know world power. It, it, it this has been going on for it for ages, right? War is something that has existed for since basically the beginning of time. People. Human beings have been fighting against each other for power, for land, for, for whatever it is. Pettiness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just because I can beat you, I am going to come beat you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's just what it is sometimes. So I'm definitely looking forward to this, man. They went they went in and disabled the, um, um what was it? The, they said the one... I don't remember exactly what type of gun. At first, I was saying the 808s, but 808s, um, I, not, what am I talking about 808s? The, <laughs> the 88s, right? And I think he said they were 124s or 128s. I don't, or 126s. I don't remember. But all I know, those, um, artillery cannons, artillery cannons are extremely, extremely powerful. And, you know, you can use them as ground-to-air. Um, now they have ground-to-air missiles. Um, I don't think back then they, they did have ground-to-air missiles. Maybe maybe a javelin or in like, you know, like a rocket launcher. But, um, but those artillery cannons, them shells hit, boy. They, they don't play. And they, the shock wave, ooh, ooh. <laughs> It's a problem. So they they went in, disabled those, the Germans and stuff, took out a bunch of them. But um, every time it comes, it comes, 
every time uh, his name is Winters. I need to remember his name. So Winters led led the man to go over there and do that. He came back and gave the report that there's probably still. A, he said he took they took out probably around twenty of them. It's probably maybe a hundred of them left. So I don't know what they're going to do next. But most of them are safe. Um, so, but we lost the dude from that came in from Dog Company, I think. Was it? Was it Dog Company? I don't remember. The <laughs> the radio guy died. Um, that you know landed close. That landed with Winters. So he died, you know, tragically. I I thought it was um the guy with the with the brass knuckles, but it's it wasn't him. Um, it kind of looked like him though. And, and and I don't remember seeing him after that, so that's why I thought it was him. But anyways, so we're going to jump into this, man, and, and see what episode three is all about. So, man, war is gruesome. So it, it's I don't expect it to get all no fun and games. There's going to be here and there little funny stuff in there. Um, we were also talking about why didn't they take those guys as POWs and stuff like that. And you guys let me know that the Geneva Convention was already in place during that time. Because I was like, because I was like, um, so I was like, they just killed them. And I was like, why? There's, you know, um, that's basically, um, in no uncertain terms, the, those are war crimes. You don't do that. If if the enemy has surrendered, you don't kill their soldiers. Um, they're they're protect they're they're protected under world law. There's there's a world law <laughs> out there for for how war is conducted, which I think is is <laughs> is so weird that we have a law, a law of how war should be conducted. Ain't that ain't that something? Ain't it? I mean, it's it, it's us. It, it's just when you look at how the world operates, sometimes you just gotta be like, oh, if you're gonna war against each other, oh, you gotta follow these rules. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like war is supposed to have rules. You know what I mean? Like people are killing each other. Why are there rules? <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, the rules are there for a reason, and they gotta be respected. Else, you're gonna be considered, you know war criminals you know doing stuff out line like committing genocide and stuff like that killing women and children stuff like that there's laws that protect be um stuff protect people like that so it's like it's weird it's weird but it, it is what it is but okay so we're gonna jump into this man and see what is going on i'm glad you guys um comment supporting the series so well and let's go do this remember to like and i'll see you guys right back here for the review for those of you who are asking where's the reaction check the description there is two options in the description there's a google drive option and there is a bit shoot option okay the reason why there's two options is because on google drive sometimes you can't watch watch the episode there because there's a view limit over there so and pretty much all my reactions go on the google drive so a lot of times you might go there and it tells you there's a playback limit. So if there's that and if, if you don't want to wait, you can go to BitChute and, and watch the reactions free of charge. Okay? So thank you guys for listening. See you guys for the review. Alright. Band of Brothers, man. Whew. That one was... It, it was tough to watch. I'm going to say that much. It was tough to watch because not, you know, so far throughout the series, you know, they have been portraying, you know, they go there, everybody's ready. They finally kind of sh shine the spotlight on someone that was scared out of their mind. You know what I'm saying? Scared out of his mind to even shoot at the enemy, you know? And he just didn't belong there. He just didn't belong there. And I still think he didn't belong there. Even though, you know, he finally found, you know, the, the, the courage to actually get up and shoot through the encouragement of Winters. But at the same time, 
he still shouldn't have left. He should have stayed at camp. Um, you know, and I understand at the same time, there's also the peer pressure of, you know, wanting to go and be with your unit, wanting to go and fight with your unit. But if you know you're not going to be of any use, if you know you're going to freeze up because it has happened in the past, you didn't even look for your unit when you landed by yourself. It's, I don't even know what to say towards this because I've never been there, so I can't, you know, I can have an opinion about it, but I don't know exactly how he felt in that moment. Uh, um, they did a good job of portraying what really happened, you know, and it, from my understanding of what happened, you know, and my, my opinion is that he should have stayed the from he shouldn't have went back out there when they went after they took Carrington, he should have stayed in Carrington. Um, even they, you know, because Winters did tell him to stay a few more days, make sure everything is okay, you know. Because I mean, if you're experiencing that on the battlefield, where basically you're experiencing temporary blindness and you know, you're shocked back into seeing again, like that's a medical condition you can't afford to have on the battlefield and that's mainly the reason why i said he should have stayed back because of that but i do understand you know emotionally feeling like you need to fight with your brothers and stuff like that i i get that also looking at it from an objective point of view um so you know they they lost a bunch of people during that fight, Carrington, they brought tanks and everything. Thank God, the, um, I don't remember what they call them, but thank God they showed up and, you know, help them out and came to help because they were, they were pinned down, you know, they got the night to rest, which is, <laughs> which is, I've always not understood. I, um, I mean, I get, I get the fact that, you know, it's very dangerous to move at night um or to try to sneak up on people at night because you know just like how they're watching keeping watch the other side is keeping watch so it's very hard to sneak up on anybody at night nowadays it's a little bit better because now you got night vision goggles you, you got access to, to to stuff that maybe the other side don't have access to you know back back in those days it was all about it was all about guns and you know what i'm saying like I don't know if back then U.S. had, you know, technology that the enemy don't have. Nowadays, it's like, it's like night and day when it comes down to technology that the military have here compared to what some some countries have. You know what I'm saying? The other superpowers in the world. So it's it's just crazy. It's just, it's just crazy. So I definitely enjoyed um, this episode, not in a elated exciting kind of way but it was very hard but every time i'm watching this series like my heart is beating a hundred a hundred beats a minute it, it's like you know it, it's very heart-wrenching to 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 know that this happened in real life so you got to keep you also got to keep that in mind too that they're trying to portray something that they were never there to see based on the account of people that were there so that's pretty cool too. I don't know who survived because they're not, I'm pretty sure they're not going to reveal who, who those old men are at that you see talking at the beginning of the episodes. They're not going to reveal who they are until the end because, you know, for spoiler's sake, because um, they don't want you to know who survived because they want to keep you watching the show. Um, I'm going to make a prediction. I don't think Winter survived. I really don't think he survived this. I think he was, I think he's going to get a lot of accolades. Of course, he's going to be remembered. That's why he's like, kind of like the, the MC of the story right now, the main character that they're focusing on. But each episode's kind of highlight different, different people and stuff like that so far. Um, it was him, I think for the first two episodes, it was him mainly. And this one was about blight, you know, giving you another perspective on on war, really, and how, dif how different people respond to how war is going. They talked about 
you know, that guy that killed all the freaking crowds, you know what I'm saying? As I'm saying, um, you know, about P POWs and stuff like that. So it's, it's okay, man. It's okay. You know, I got to try to tell myself <laughs> that it's, that, that it's okay because, you know, the, the, the thing about it is that in these little miniature wars that are going on today we still are losing people people who go out there and fight for their countries or whatever the situation is like this is still happening today it might not be full-on war you know country against countries but it's still war you get what i'm saying we're still going in the countries trying to take power and all of this other stuff where you know you know, we got to support the allies, we got people picking on smaller countries and stuff like that. The U.S. trying to protect them. You know, other countries try to protect their allies and all this other stuff. So all that stuff is going on. I do understand. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. If you enjoyed this reaction, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Okay. And leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this episode the first time you saw it. And also, if you're new hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know when another Band of Brothers episode has been uploaded, okay? So thank you guys for tuning in as always. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys for the next one. Peace.